Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Miss Brenda D. Plays. Today, we will be making a shrimp and crawfish etouffee. And here are our ingredients. In a medium bowl, we're adding one and a half pound of peeled divine shrimp. Now we're going to add in one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. You can also use Tony Saturn Creole seasoning or Obey. Make sure you mix your shrimp well. In a large skillet, add in one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Allow your oil to heat, then add in your shrimp. Allow your shrimp to cook for two to three minutes on each side. Add in one third cup of flour. Allow your flour to cook six to eight minutes or until a peanut butter brown. Now add in one small onion chopped, a half of bell pepper, one rib of celery, a fourth tablespoon of thyme, two teaspoons of garlic. Now allow your vegetables to cook until slightly softened. Now we're going to add in three cups of chicken stock. You also can use shrimp stock. 
make sure to continue to whisk until everything is smooth. Now we're going to add in two cups of fresh diced tomatoes, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, one bay leaf. I know I put two, but it was kind of overpowering, so just put one. Now we're going to add a little salt and pepper to taste. This is optional because later I added in obey. Allow this to cook on low heat for 20 minutes. Halfway through, and this is how Aru is looking. Okay, now that it has been 20 minutes, we're gonna add in our green onions, our parsley, and our lemon juice. Okay guys, this is optional, but I'm gonna add in some skinless beef acreage sausage. This is optional, guys. This does not have to be in there. And the best thing to do is to saute them. I forgot to do that, but remember to saute them. Uh, give them a nice crisp. Okay, guys, now we're going to add in our crawfish tails. You do not have to use the crawfish tails in the bags. You can also boil your fresh crawfish uh, yourself, so you don't have to use the bag of crawfish. Also, instead of pouring straight from the bag, you also can rinse the crawfish off if you don't want that seasoning that's inside there, inside your uh, etouffee. So that is also an option that will help cut down on the season that the seasoning that you put in there. Because, like I said, I also going to add obey later. Now our shrimp. Okay guys, now we're gonna allow this to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. This will allow our shrimp, crawfish tails, and our sausage to cook. Remember to remove your bay leaves. Here is where I added in some obey. Okay guys, it's been 15 minutes. Now we're ready to plate. Okay, here's our final results. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share, and if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. And remember, you're always welcome at Miss Brenda D's place. Bye-bye, guys.